Experiment 2 Here we will do a titration to determine the concentration of an unknown acid using a base of known concentration. Let's review some of the equipments needed for the titration. Burette, a long graduated glass using the titration. A burette is used to dispensing an accurate volume of a liquid and measure its discharge. The volume is recorded to two decimal places, for example, 25.55 ml. Glass root, used for stirring and mixing the chemicals. White tile, a white tile is placed underneath the conical flask. During the titration, it makes it easier to see the color change in the solution after it reaches its end point. Burette clamp or double burette clamp is used to attach a burette to a retort stand. Pipette filler. A round rubber ball is used to safely draw liquids into a pipette. Filter funnel has white mouth and narrow stem. It is used to transfer liquid into a container with small opening without spilling. Pipette. A pipette is used to dispense measured volume of solution with accurate precision. Volumetric flask is a round flask with a long neck and a flat bottom. It is used to prepare a solution with an accurate volume. It comes with special cap to prevent leaks. Conical flask is also known as an Erlenmeyer flask. It is a glassware with a narrow neck and broad base. It is used to hold and mix chemicals. The small neck is to facilitate mixing without spilling. Methyl orange is an indicator used in the titration. It shows red color in acidic medium and yellow color in basic medium. A wash bottle is a squeeze bottle with a nozzle used to rinse various pieces of laboratory glassware. In this experiment, sodium carbonate will act as a standard solution. A standard solution is used to determine the concentration of a hydrochloric acid. This video clip contains two parts. Part A will demonstrate how to prepare a standard sodium carbonate solution from solid sodium carbonate. Standard solution is a solution in which the concentration is known. This solution is commonly used to determine the concentration of a substance with unknown concentration. In this experiment, we accurately 1.3 to 1.35 gram of pure sodium carbonate in a clean dry 50 ml beaker and record the mass. Dissolve the accurately weighed sample with an appropriate amount of distilled water. Always use distilled water to make a standard solution. Don't use tap water as it contains impurities that could interfere the solution. Stir the solution gently with a glass root until the solid dissolves completely. After dissolving the sample, transfer the solution into a 250 ml volumetric flask. Use a filter funnel and a glass root to prevent spillages. Let the glass root lean against the peak of the beaker and allow the solution to flow along the glass root into the volumetric flask. By using a wash bottle, rinse the beaker with distilled water several times. Add the solution into the volumetric flask.
Rinse the filter funnel and glass root with distilled water. The purpose of doing so is to transfer all sample in the beaker into the volumetric flask. Add more distilled water until the solution level about 1 cm below the graduated mark. Then, using a dropper, add this to water slowly until the graduated mark. Make sure that the bottom of the meniscus is on the graduated mark. Ensure that your eyes are level with the graduated mark to avoid any error in viewing the meniscus level. So, the volume of the solution is exactly 250 ml. Place the stopper on the volumetric flask and keeping one hand on the stopper, invert the flask several times to ensure complete mixing. Pour the solution into a beaker. Label the beaker with the name of the solution. We will use this solution in part B of this experiment to find out the concentration of hydrochloric acid solution. Part B Standardization of Hydrochloric Acid Solution Rinse the 25 ml pipette with distilled water. After that, rinse the pipette with the sodium carbonate solution. After rinsing, fill the pipette with the sodium carbonate solution until the bottom of the meniscus lies on the engraved line. Transfer the solution from the pipette into a clean conical flask. Touch the tip of the pipette against the side of the flask. This conical flask contains 25 ml of the sodium carbonate solution. Add 3 drops of methyl red indicator into the conical flask and swirl for uniform composition. Indicator is important as it helps to determine the end point of the titration by changing color. In this experiment, metal red changes color from yellow to orange color. Now, we can start the titration. Rinse a clean burette with a hydrochloric acid solution and fill the burette with a hydrochloric acid solution. Ensure that no air bubbles are trapped in the nozzle of the burette. Clamp the burette vertically using the retort stand. 
record the initial burette reading to two decimal places. Place the conical flask under the burette and on top of a white tile. The white tile helps to detect color changes more easily during the titration. Next step, start titrating the hydrochloric acid in the burette against the sodium carbonate solution in the conical flask. By using the thumb and the first two fingers of the left hand, Open the tap of the burette to release the hydrochloric acid into the conical flask. At the same time, swirl the conical flask with the right hand to ensure the reagents are truly mixed. Stop the titration from time to time. Wash down the side of the conical flask with tasty water to ensure that no drops of acids are remained to the side of the flask. Continue the titration until the color of the indicator turns to orange. Stop the titration and record the final reading. Calculate the volume of hydrochloric acid used. This rough titration gives approximately end point. Repeat the titration three times. Use the volume of hydrochloric acid used in the first titration to estimate the end point of the following titration.